three brothers and Zemi Gorjanich. In a small Slavic village nestled between dense forests and rolling hills, there lived three brave brothers, Ivan the eldest and wisest, Alexei the middle brother and the strongest, and Dmitri the youngest and the most clever. One fateful day, the village fell under the shadow of the fearsome dragon, Zemi Gorjanich. The dragon had been terrorizing the land for years, demanding tribute and setting fields and homes ablaze with its fiery breath. The villagers were terrified and had almost lost hope. The three brothers couldn't bear to see their homeland suffer any longer. They decided to set out on a quest to defeat Zemi Gorjanich and free their people from its tyranny. They armed themselves with a sword, a shield, and a bow and arrows, each choosing a weapon that matched their skills. The brothers journeyed deep into the dark and forbidding forest where the dragon was rumored to reside. Along the way they encountered various challenges and magical creatures, but they relied on their wits and the strength of their bond as brothers to overcome them. Finally, they reached a dragon's lair, a cavern hidden deep within the heart of the forest. As they entered, they were met with the sight of Zemi Gorjanich, a fearsome beast with three heads, each more menacing than the other. The battle was fierce and intense. Ivan, the eldest, used his wisdom to strategize and plan their attacks. The middle brother wielded his strength to fend off the dragon's fiery breath and deadly strikes. Dmitri, the youngest, used his cleverness to shoot arrows into the dragon's vulnerable spots. For hours they fought with all their might. Despite the dragon's formidable power, the brothers' determination and unity were stronger. One by one they managed to sever the heads of Zemi Gorjanich. As each head fell, a magical firebird emerged from the dragon's body, and these firebirds soared into the sky, signifying the end of the dragon's reign of terror. The village rejoiced when the brothers returned as heroes, and they were celebrated for their bravery and unity. They not only had defeated Zemi Gorjanich, but had also shown the importance of family bonds and unity in the face of great diversity. And so the tale of the three brothers and Zemi Gorjanich became a cherished Slavic story, a reminder of the enduring power of family, courage, and determination in the face of the most formidable challenges. Thanks for checking in with us today at Orc Soup of the Dragon Soul. That's a great Slavic folktale about a great multi-headed dragon. Zemi Gornich is a famous dragon from Russian and Slavic folklore and mythology. Is most well known and feared creatures in those tales and has appeared in numerous stories and legends throughout the centuries. He's typically described as a multi-headed dragon, often depicted with three heads, but sometimes with more. Each head is believed to have its own personality and characteristics. The dragon's heads can breathe fire and spew venom. He is malevolent and a destructive creature. It is known for terrorizing villages, kidnapping princesses, and causing general chaos and devastation wherever it goes, robbing Wendy's and knocking over 7-Elevens. Uh, in some tales, Zemi Gornich demands tribute from the local population, and failure to provide it can result in the dragon's wrath. And now, many of the tales feature brave heroes or knights who undertake quests to defeat Zemi and rescue captives. These heroes often rely on clever tactics and magical assistance to combat the dragon's formidable powers. And like many dragons in world mythology, Zemi Gornich has weaknesses that heroes can exploit. Common weaknesses include the vulnerabilities in his head, the central head that being often portrayed as the primary head, and use of specific magical weapons or spells to defeat it, or occasionally a robust redhead. Uh, in Russian folklore, it is sometimes seen as the symbol of chaos, evil, and the forces of darkness. Its defeat by a heroic figure represents a triumph of good over evil and the restoration of order. There'll be D&D stats and ecology to follow on another video. But for today, that's it. Uh, once again, tickle that like and hit that subscribe. It helps. Maybe tell us down in the comments what folktale you'd like to hear. Stay frosty and aware, beautiful people, and question everything. Thank you.
Thank you very much.